Here's how I fixed the rotten corner in the farmhouse. So basically there was like a, a big gap here under the rim joists. And the rim joists are actually uh, beyond beyond the, the, the foundation. It, uh, this plate, I'm assuming, that rotted away. And this plate doesn't even go all the way, it's just up to here. But I, I made a sort of a partial plate out of uh, two by eight, whereas I have a, a one inch or so lip that uh, sticks out and that's only uh, about a, an inch thick. So I just uh, notched it out. So it's actually underneath the rim joist. So it's holding the rim joist and it's kind of tipped because that's the only way I could show it underneath. But then what I did is I padded it out with some two by fours here that also um, closes the gap that's uh, remaining. And then I put another two by four joined to the old joist, uh, rim joist here that actually holding all this down and it's kind of uh, anchored to itself. I don't know how to explain that better, but on the other side, uh, this is the original uh, rim joist. I cut a, a piece here that uh, fills it in and this goes underneath this post, the corner post. And I had to fill it in with some plywood here because uh, the old joist is a two two inch and the two by eight that I put here obviously is not. And then I put another two by eight to sandwich all this together and um, give it additional strength. So actually now this post is sitting on two two by eights um, this way. And also the post had to be fixed because on the very bottom it was a little rotten. So it's not always all the way rotten, only kind of outside corners are rotted. So what I did, I, I just cut that down a little bit and sandwiched um, a slice of, of four by four. Um, and again, these are all pressure treated wood. And now, yeah, you can still see the daylight, but obviously that can be foamed in. But my worry was really not uh, the opening itself, but uh, that too, but also um, structural. So, and so my plywood for this floor gonna go on four sides, all joist, rim joist. Um, also, I put in a new two by four here, and underneath the old floor, there's a new two by four as well. So this is tied together and then it's tied to the joist here and the room joist there. And that's what's gonna hold my plywood on this end. So I think it turned out really good. I, I spent about three hours figuring this out and just cutting pieces and fitting and dry fitting it. And that's how it looks like. And that's the basement down there, but the foundation, the rock foundation comes out all the way here and this way as well. Okay, I'm gonna go and finish this up.